Hi guys, Cool Brick here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix or how to restore your discolored bricks, which um, are mostly white. Uh, I think that this can also happen to some gray and blue bricks, but the main problem is when it happens to white bricks, and uh, it's annoying because then you can't use your bricks because they turn this disgusting yellow color. Now, you can't really tell unless I hold one of these up. Look at the difference between these two colors. If I attach these, you'll see. Look at the difference in color between these bricks. It's just, it's disgusting, right? You know, you want to fix this. Um, so here's how you fix discolored parts. What you need are your discolored parts, obviously, a container, and hydrogen peroxide. This is really easy to get. You can just go down to your local uh, pharmacy or uh, convenience store. It's all over the place. You can see I got mine at CVS and it costs about a dollar to get a bottle. This, this is 16 fluid ounce. Cost about a dollar to get this. So uh, it's really cheap, very cheap to get, and you can get it almost anywhere. So what you want to do is put all of your discolored bricks in your container. So I didn't actually go through and find all of my discolored bricks. I just took the ones that I have I had on hand. I'm gonna try and put these because so the reason that um that they turn this color is because they get exposed to excess sunlight, and that sunlight has a chemical reaction with a flame retardant that's in the uh, plastic in the ABS plastic that Legos are made of, modern Legos are made of, and uh, it has a chemical reaction turning them a nasty shade of, it makes them yellower and yellower, and the worse the sun damages, it can even turn brown. And this happens not just to Legos, but to uh, some old computer casings, basically anything that uses ABS plastic. And so basically what the hydrogen peroxide does is it reverses that, um, it reverses that chemical reaction and restores them back to this color. Um, so uh, the way to fix that, so you pour in the hydrogen peroxide and then you leave this out in the sun. So that's why I put these two like this so that as much light is going to be hitting all of the bricks. Um, now the problem with this is that when you pour this in, which I will do, uh, Lego bricks float. Uh, also, you want to be very careful with hydrogen peroxide. It's some pretty nasty stuff. You don't want to get this in your eyes. You don't want to eat it. And if you put your hair in it, your hair will turn white. Uh, make sure you read all the safety crap back here. Um, so that you don't kill yourself. And let's see if I can get this darn bottle open. Let's see. Okay, that was a semi-difficult task, probably should have done that before filming this. And you just take your hydrogen peroxide and pour it in. And you want to make sure that all of your pieces are submerged. Now, your parts will float, so, you know, you can see they're floating like this. And I'd say I used up uh, more, a little more than half of this bottle um, pouring that in. So what you want to do is uh, to keep everything down, you want to make some kind of a, uh, I think I'll pour this some more, just empty this. Alright, so what you want to do, uh, make sure everything's fully submerged is to uh, to put a uh, stopper kind of thing in there. So um, what I have is this. 
and I'm going to get the correct size axle. Let's see. Get a nice long axle in here. Okay. So I got my axle so that I can adjust the length to what I need. Put this in here. And attach that to this. And uh, I can adjust this length just sliding this along. And uh, gotta make sure try and get as much of these submerged as possible. So I want to be careful. So I may have to fiddle with this a little to make sure most of the pieces are submerged. That's the best I can get it right now. You can do it how you like. So what you want to do is take this outside or to a window that's always in the sun and place it there. And uh, you want to make sure that um, it's always in the sunlight. And uh, this, the water that's in the hydrogen peroxide may uh, evaporate so you may have to refill it a little every once in a while just to um just to make sure that everything's still submerged depending on how much you have uh hopefully that shouldn't really be much of a problem for me uh and so after about a couple days probably you have to wait a while but after a couple days uh if you take your pieces back out they'll be like this and actually, this is my first time doing this. I was a bit skeptical of it before, but I watched several videos of this and I did my research. So I'm hoping that this will work and I'll make a video of the results in a few days. I hope this was helpful and comment, like, and subscribe.